Hey everybody, I am now at a site called Puma Punku in Bolivia. This is pre-cataclysmic site with crazy construction all around us. You may have seen this uh, on TV and stuff like that because of the famous H's that we have. I'll go over to the H's, <laughs> the so-called H's. The, uh, the cuts on this stuff are ridiculous, uh, especially back over here. Let me go. There you go. There's the H's. We actually had a guide tell us that uh, one of the theories about how they moved all these stones was that they went to the Amazon jungle, which is not close. <laughs> it's on the other side of a mountain range, right? And you'd have to bring millions of logs to try to roll these stones on logs. And so we all laughed at that. Um, I'm here with Nassim Haramain and the Resonance Science Foundation. Uh, this is the Resonance Academy Delegate Gathering, the second annual. We went to Egypt last year and we saw very similar, super precise cuts. Uh, check out this stone. You can zoom in four layers deep. Uh, I can't go right over there to there because uh, it's uh, roped off actually. And uh, in the background over there, you'll see uh, Nassim Haramain's talking to some folks back there, looking at more of the evidence that we see around the world showing cataclysmic, pre-cataclysmic construction and super precise uh, cuts everywhere you look. over here and uh, show you some keystone cuts and uh, some of the most precise cuts I've ever seen on a stone and they insist this is they insist this is not modern these cuts right here and then there's this rock right here look at these drill holes and how incredibly straight that cut is And these drill holes are perfectly even and straight. And then there's this. And then I'll, I'll cruise down the, down the way here, show you some of these. site it's very destroyed so it looks like it suffered the cataclysm or the series of cataclysms that are theorized to have happened 12,000 to 10,000 years ago we're not exactly sure Graham Hancock has a pretty solid theory based on geological evidence saying that a comet broke up over North America and flash vaporized a bunch of ice cap and it made the oceans rise and Earth's climate changed. And then somebody like Robert Schock thinks that it could have been solar activity that caused the cataclysm, like uh, CMEs. But either way, we see evidence of cataclysms around the world. Let's see what yeah. Sim Harman's saying over here. getting hit from this side I mean, if we, can we not turn the corner oh, yeah. they block this off yeah, yeah. we wouldn't do creatures let's go see if there's more details over here circular cuts that passes through maybe water went through there this is the back side of those H's looks like they have cross like shapes
guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this peek at Bolivia, Pumapunku. We were just at Tiwanaku, also has some incredible examples of this ancient megalithic construction. And we see this all over the world. So the evidence is mounting and we've gotten some word and saw a uh, YouTube video, I'll try to put a link in the comments later, uh, of archeologists that are starting to get on board with you know, the new story that's probably the correct story, which is that the Incas didn't build this, that there was a super ancient civilization that was destroyed on this planet many thousands of years ago. And they're starting to say that Tiwanaku might be 17,000 years old. So all bets are off, right? Super duper sunny here. And I'm not exactly sure the altitude, but it's somewhere between 12,005 and 13,005 uh, feet. 3,200 meters, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, but it's altitude, so. Being in the sun here is serious business and we're outside all day, so I gotta cover up big time. Look at these stones. This is not copper tools, etc. It's not vine ropes and slaves. This is a civilization that had advanced tooling capabilities and perhaps high energy devices. Apologies for the wind, I'm trying to block that. High altitude wind and sun. I mean, these rocks are super accurately carved. 90 degree angle corners everywhere, curves, cutouts, relief. It's pretty epic. Oh, let's check out this stone over here. Look at this cut. What are these guys doing with this stuff? It's like a gate that fell over. There's the top. In uh, Pumapunku, I mean in Timunaku, which is only five minutes away from here, we have a uh, local wisdom keeper shaman that we met at uh, a site along the way and we just picked her up and brought her along. And she's been telling us incredible stories, including her grandfather went to the Sun Gate at Timunaku and he said that he saw beings come out of the gate. And I know that sounds fantastical, but I have an open mind and I think it's entirely possible that extraterrestrials exist and that they visited a long time ago and they very well could be around now, but you don't exactly want to just come down here and say, hey, what's up? land on the White House lawn or something, you would cause quite a stir and you don't want to mess up and cause all sorts of trauma to the civilization. But we've heard numerous stories from people, uh, locals, talking about their grandparents, especially seeing ships, beings coming through portals and disappearing. I mean, it's been fascinating. This is straight from the from the peoples who have been living here for th you know thousands of years and talking about their ancestors and their stories. So it's been fascinating <laughs> to say the least to hear all about all this and uh, meet some of these folks. Um, I hope to continue to travel the world and uh, explore these places. Um, we'll be going in Mexico next fall with the Residence Academy delegate gathering. And uh, I hope to uh, do a little bit more video in the coming days. I'll be down here for another 10 days or so. Here's Nassim again.
pistol arrowhead. So you see these logs that are protruding from the ground? Like, look at this guy over there. He's like five feet under. Mm. So imagine, and look at this mm -hmm. guy over there. You know, so imagine all the stuff that's down there. Like I was saying, I wouldn't be surprised if those slabs are not floors, but, but ceilings, and the temple is below. Well, look how flat everything yeah. is, except for right here, on this big mountain. Right. When I said this a pyramid, and there are three, step, three floors. Three floors? Yeah, we can sit up there. We should be on the top. On the top of the pyramid. ceremony is the local wisdom keeper that I was saying her grandfather saw the beings come out of the portal and so she's leading us in a circle here a type of ceremony Love you guys. I'm gonna join the circle. I'll see you soon.